Hi everyone, welcome once again to the 24-bit podcast and this is a special episode. It's actually in this uh, format where we, the three of us uh, are here talking about something. It's the 50th uh, episode and yeah, on the 50th episode we decided we are going to talk money, uh, real money <laughs> or, <laughs> or, or money as, as a lot of us have begun knowing it or as COVID forced us to know it. Uh, we've become entirely reliant on banking apps and banking apps are quite a huge factor and one of the things that is emerging is these days um, at least for a tiny section of the market uh, one of the considerations you'd make while opening bank a bank account will be if they have at least a half decent app or some of all those things at least in one of my recent considerations that was top we don't to know if that is also uh, a factor that you consider, at least uh, de- depending on how you do your things. I'm aware you to Mpesa to Pekeake. Yeah. And with me to dissect banking apps in Kenya are the usual suspects. Excellent. You're not techish.com. And I'm Nikan Ali from Tech Trends. I'm Emmanuel Chanze. Uh, you can find lots of my ramblings on AndroidKenya.com. So first things first, uh, gentlemen, I want to hear what your experiences have been with banking apps uh, in this country. Whatever banking app you've been using, how long you've been using it, what the overall experience is, is it something you can recommend someone? Yeah, I, I think it's something I, can, I, can, I mean I can recommend anyone. I mean, for me, I bank with Standbig, so I've been using the Standbig app, uh, you know, since I mm-hmm. since I actually, uh, you know, uh, opened an account with Standbig. Because I very remember actually Standbeek, uh, they launched this app back in 2013, if I'm not wrong. And uh, I actually joined Standbeek around 2015. Yeah. But I think I only started using the app, you know, you know, from 2016, actually 2017, you know, uh, you know, and up to now. And I think, you know, of course, you know, uh, the main aim of this app is basically to just ease how we basically just, you know, uh, use banking services. And of course, yeah, it's something I can recommend. It's really for me. Of course, I haven't had any bad experience other than the usual, of course, you know, downtimes and all these other challenges you would expect, you know, for any products. Yeah. So I think that will be, you know, uh, my thoughts on that. Uh-huh. So I, for Nick, that's Tanbeek for you, Dixon, what is it? I use KCB. Uh-huh. I joined KCB in 20, 2012, I believe. 2012? Yes. Oh, I was going yes. to uni and mm-hmm. I didn't have anything. So I had to get a passport. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that I could open a bank account because mm-hmm. I was under 18. In it. So I opened my bank account uh, at KCB. Uh, they never sent the, what is it called? The ATM card. Mm-hmm. So all my life, uh, transacting has been either through star 552, star 522, uh-huh. which, does that count as a banking app? It's a USSD it app. It's a USD, yeah. Uh, US. USSD. Yes, and... When the app launched, I signed into the app. So I've always used banking through apps. I I don't know about you, but I've never gone to a counter in the bank to do anything. Mm-hmm. I I have only gone to an ATM to deposit cash or to a counter to deposit a check. But I've never interacted with banking a- any other way except through the app. So I would always say, uh, in my head, banking is through an app. I don't know. <laughs> Did you just say depositing cash through the ATM? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I know it's possible, yeah. but there are a few people you should... Fear. People who put toothpaste on the toothbrush with before putting water, and people who <laughs> cash through the ATM. Mm. Don't understand that. Reference. They could kill you in your sleep. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dixon's experience. Is and that's an interesting tech. Um, because I don't count KCB as one of my banks, even though it's been the bank that people at home have been using for quite a while. Mm. But I do have quite an experience with it, uh, with KCB. And one of the reasons why I ever became their customer, even though I stayed a dormant one for so long, and, and I don't even know what happened to that, was at some point, I think 2015, they l- relaunched that app. Yep. Theirs. Mm-hmm. I understand it had been there for a while. They gave that gig to some guy who had done some news app, a very nice news app we loved back in 2015. So those guys got the tender to... To, to, redo the to redo the KCB app and it had a very good uh, user interface. The overall user experience was nice. And one of the reasons I ended up be- being the customer is they allowed you to open an account from the app. From the app. Yeah. No, other, no other thing needed. Uh, it was a fresh experience. For me, it was the first time I was seeing anyone in the local market offer that. 
and I don't think there was anyone else who was doing that. It would take me a few more years to yes. attend okay. some launch at KCC for it was Eco, EcoBank. Oh. You remember? Yeah, you remember EcoBank Eco did a huge launch at K, KCC. They brought their guys from Nigeria, uh, lots of local players, and one of the things they were touting was you could open, open an account. account. Yeah. yeah, I remember going through. Uh, since I was there at the launch, going through the entire process there, and I don't know what was needed. They hadn't fully uh, opened it for news acquisitions and all those things, but that was possible. That was up number two. And uh, third up, I think it came in March, April 2017. It was around March 2017. That's the Nico Bank, eh? No, no, no. No, Loop. Loop, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I got it. But that's yeah, yeah, main yeah, main yeah, main yeah, main. yeah, 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 Loop. Because uh, what Loop did, um, it's a new yeah, product. Uh, CBA figured out they needed to reach out to a younger dem- demographic, demographic, which uh, is always well, online. Is uh, 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 not interested in queues at the banky hall, yeah. and they thought that hall. So I, again, I went for the launch at the National Theatre, and part of the onboarding process I did there was so one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened an account online, so. Basically, I was coming back to your experience with KCB. So that's, yeah, but um, I never became uh, an Echo Bank customer. Oh, I never yeah. became a KCB customer. But I have ended up being a Loop user. And as I far think as each, hmm. each one of us has two bank accounts or more. Yeah, yeah. I use KCB. And, and, and Loop is one of those, right? I actually, also I also use Loop. Loop. Yeah. yeah. But I think. Uh, Honestly, Loop is my uh, main banking platform. Yeah, hmm. but I actually That's haven't really had a good experience with Loop. I think, mm-hmm. I don't know, until I gave, I actually uninstalled the app from my phone. Mm-hmm. So these days, whatever I do, I mean, I just send money, you know, using mm-hmm. the normal uh, pay bill number to the account mm-hmm. if I want to do a transaction. I don't even use the app to check. Because I, I mean, Loop for everything in my life. I pay for... O- okay, okay, <laughs> hold on. <up>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we will give you a <laughs> Do you drive Loop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's a hyperloop. You could have taken no, that. I mean, I'm talking about NCBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the process of opening an account with Loop. I yeah. remember I had an account with Equity using what was the hash or what was the USSD? It was star two four seven something. Yeah, hash? Equity. Equity. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So I was in second year or third it's, year. It means they are pay bill number on Safari. Yeah, two four seven, two four seven. Yes. So I was in third year in uh, second year or third year in uni and. KCB wasn't just working for me because I didn't have an ATM card. Mm-hmm. Star 522 on Airtel was an issue because I had registered it on my Airtel line. And I felt like, okay, having another bank account is not a problem. Mm-hmm. If it means accessing everything easily. Mm-hmm. So I decided to open an equity account. I closed that account for two or three years later without using it because mm-hmm. I went to use it and... I was told your account has been dormant. You need to pay this amount. Mm-hmm. Oh, equity. Yes, mm-hmm. I activated the account. A few weeks later, your account has been dormant. You need to pay this amount. So for every time I wanted to transact over equity, I'll be told your account has you been dormant. dormant. Okay. And they decided. And they decided I'm I'm no longer keeping that account. So now I bank with Loop and KCB, and I opened a uh, Loop. I think in 2018, mm-hmm. or 2019, mm-hmm. 2018, I believe. Yeah. And I did everything over the phone. I didn't have a laptop. I just went to the website on the phone. Did everything, gave them my document, mm-hmm. walked into what do they call those things over there? Ah, those booths they have, oh, like yeah. one at Sarit. Yeah, yeah. Where else do they have another? At Yaya Street. They, they, I've seen the one at Yaya, I've seen yeah. the one at Sarit. Yeah. So I walked in there. Five minutes later, I had my ATM card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've actually gone to renew mine because it it uh, uh-huh. it expired this mine year. Mine is expiring this year too. Yeah, yes. my, my, mine expired. I think in March. Mm-hmm. So I walked into the same booth at Sarit. Okay. Was in and out like under half an hour. Yeah. something. I also took mine from Sarit. It's actually expiring next. Yeah, next year, twenty twenty three. Yeah, next year. But actually, for me, actually, as I was saying, I really haven't had the best experience with the Loop app. I don't know if it's just me. I'm an Yumi or Loop is so small. Because you see, every time I install the app on my phone, even when I'm switching phones. I keep being logged out from the app all the time, all the time. All banking apps log you out after yeah. a period of time. Yeah, but that's different because when I need to reset my password, that's why the problem is I can't reset my password. So even they told me it to forget go, your password. It yeah. says your password is incorrect. Exactly. So when you choke to and install the app and just see this, they just. I, log in, I think I've logged into. A loop allows you to log into two phones maximum uh, per, per time. Mm-hmm. So I've logged into two devices. And what I love about Loop is. For example, on the iPhone, 
if I go to loop, <laughs> open it, it will use Face ID mm-hmm. and log me in in no time. When I'm making payments, when I'm doing anything, it authenticates very quickly. They used to have an SMS authentication system, but now the app authenticates on its own. Mm-hmm. I love that Loop is, uh, I feel like it's the best app design. I haven't used other app design, mm-hmm. app, other banking apps, but I feel like it's the best design. I can block my card easily from the app. I can replace my card easily, request a replacement easily from the uh, banking app. I can set uh, the card ATM limits from the banking app, mm-hmm. the daily amounts, the daily count, the number of times the card can be used daily. Mm-hmm. You can easily generate a statement. There's a growth section where you can invest, budget, and you get yeah. interest rates of up to 7.3%. Th- that, that, that's what used to be my favorite thing yes. about the loop app. There's an analysis of you your can cash. Along. Yeah. Yes, you can set, what are they called? Orders where if cash... Standing uh, orders. Yes, standing mm-hmm. orders directly mm-hmm. from the app. And you can pay bills and buy goods via M-Pesa directly from the app. On any M-Pesa till number, any M-Pesa. And, I, and actually, number. you know, what, what I really loved about the app is, mm-hmm. especially you're able to know, like, you know, where do you spend your money the most? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this month, your expenditure, you know, like, okay, around the end, you samaki sana. I need to, <laughs> next month, I need to. <laughs> where samaki is, uh, uh, is a placeholder for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, those good use cases, I'd, I'd, I I wouldn't say it's the best designed app. I'd say it's very functional. Yeah, and also the the user experience is good. There is a way that that interface takes you in. Everything is yes. Everything is where you expect it to be, and things that are no brainers or things we didn't even know we needed in an app are there. Um, I'm somewhere in between you and Nick. While you find it the most functional thing and it works for you and you're stuck on it, and Nick, it hasn't worked for me. I'm somewhere in the middle. It comes through once in a while. Like I activated it for the new F1 season so that I can pay for F1 TV Pro because my other card elsewhere, for some reason, the F1 platform was declining it. Before then, I think I'd gone for over a year without using it. Uh, the last time I touched it was pre-COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's another thing I didn't mention. Loop works on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Like my card is always accepted. I I I, yeah. I I I cannot say I have ever used another ATM card, but my Loop card is always accepted. I have only had one ATM card in my life. And it's a Loop. Yep, and it's always accepted online. I've never gone to an ATM physically in my life to do anything. Yeah, I mean, and that I agree because for me, I use I use them. I mean, my loop card actually pay for pay all for these, stuff, yeah. all the stuff, all my you know subscriptions. I use the loop card, linking it to PayPal, linking yes. it to stuff. It works. There was a time you remember that tweet. We tried the card somewhere and loop a, a loop banking officer called me. Mm-hmm. Did, did you use your card on this platform? So loop flags uh-huh. every. <laughs> ah, can I mention that platform? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing it as a joke, so what 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 we <laughs> the podcast will think oh ni, ni, ni. I mean you are the creator anyway <laughs> go on <laughs> <laughs> anyway so I love the loop works that another thing I love about loop now this sounds like we are sponsored uh, anyway yeah it's not another bad. thing that I love about loop is uh when you need a reference letter for example you're working with a client and you, you they request a ref- reference letter to do a transaction for you I will request that on loop via Twitter and in 20 minutes mm-hmm. it will be sent signed with all the things that I need free of charge. Uh, you requested on Twitter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just uh-huh. give me uh-huh. a reference uh-huh. letter. Uh write the letter uh, to this client and they will do it for you for free. You mm-hmm. get it on your email uh-huh. okay. without paying any cent you know, like other without any cent and I'm raising that because some of you have complained about this. Yeah, yeah Lord, I think, I've, which I've, I think I've, I've, I've suffered uh-huh. at the height of the pandemic. Yeah. I, I I I needed uh, to prove that uh I own the account I was telling someone I own uh with the institution I was saying uh, I bank with. So I went to the bank. They charged me 2000 shillings yeah. for the letter. And it sent that sound. They the name of the bank. Equate, <laughs> meaning <laughs> member. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, most recently, I've I've been in the same uh, situation. Uh, 2020 is a long while back. We're in 2022, so I needed to update that letter. So I went back. The prices have been up. Oh, uh, no, I paid yeah. 2500. 2500. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, that really acted me because the Lipiana twelve million and Miatano bure. Elf, yeah. name if you, for two letters. Yes. If you don't speak my tongue, that's almost 5,000 shillings spent to get uh, an, uh, 
Yeah, a is piece it, of paper that proves that I own an account. Own account with is, the, yeah. it's the same thing. Actually, I mean, uh, I ex- have the same experience with Standard Bank. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've paid two thousand five hundred for the letter. Absa, the other guy gave me the letter for free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, no, equi- no. equity gave me a rider. I could get the letter for free if I went to my branch. Here's the interesting bit. My you branch is in Mombasa. Mombasa yeah. Nairobi. Like, <laughs> what kind of <laughs> nonsense is this? It's 2022. And I, 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 I have a very good understanding of how banks operate yeah. and why branches are important in 1912. It's 2012. It's 2022. It's what? 110 years later, right? You, you can't be telling me nonsense about uh, you, you can't be telling me yeah. took took Wait, you, said, branch, you said 1912 yeah, yeah, how old yeah. are you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm young at heart. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I think maybe actually the, the conversation around you know those letters is something maybe we should just have a serious no, and, discussion and, and because it's it's I, I, I don't it I, I don't see honestly I don't see the need to charge someone to prove that they own an account with you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a, it, it's a goddamn letter. Um, <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to be nice here. I could use harsh words, uh-huh. but that is a plus. If you're listening to this and you're on loop, at least now you know. Yeah. For me, that wouldn't work for me because I barely do anything on loop. So, and loop and, doesn't and, accept checks, does it? Yeah, checks? yeah, yeah. I I don't want uh, any of that. So it's the thing that other people need to learn from what his loop is doing mm-hmm. and style up because yeah we've talked so much about loop and Dixon was raising the point that we run the risk of, yes. of this sounding like it's sponsored That's by loop. no loop, um, we are we're in the edge bracket where loop is directly a product that is targeted at, at, yes. at, at us to we in the space where we actually went for the launch event we were some of the first clients yeah. to be onboarded mm-hmm. and the product turned out to be something we use on and off or frequently and we've kept it Uh, all along now i was talking about my in between experience um i've come back to look for just the f1 tv pro deductions mm-hmm. every other man beyond that i don't, don't bother with it. it my main uh, piece of grape was covid came and we we got a chance to now not because before covid this is what i used to do i'd actually carry cash walk into a CBA branch yeah. and deposit to my loop. Reason being I don't like the transaction charges I incur for Mpesa. Okay, so and then COVID came and CBK uh, told these guys to remove the charges yes. so that to to minimize in, in the need for over the counter transactions and increase ele- electronic yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, and loop didn't drop. So there's been a work around around. Mm-hmm. So you use the main NCBA pay bill, pay bill and yeah. then you key in your account number. I used to do that and it used to work. Um shout out to Abu who uh, alerted me to it very early on in the very early days mm-hmm. and for a long time I used that and it used to work until it didn't work. I'd send money using the NCBA pay bill to my account number as usual and the money wouldn't reflect after 24 hours so you contact loop uh, contact setter they just tell you don't do this again yeah. uh, your money just bounce and it will come back yeah and I've had such yeah issues, and my money will be reversed on mpesa so i just stopped using the whole damn thing all together and even for these f1 tv transactions I have to foot the Mpesa transaction cost. I'm not bothered with that other process. Mm-hmm. And I hear from other people that, that that other process works. But me I need definite things because I usually load money to the account to use on the card mm-hmm. on demand. So when I'm doing that, I want it, it to work. work. Yeah, Especially the online purchases I do if it's a six figure purchase, I don't have another six figure yeah. to redo that thing. Mm-hmm. So it needs to go through, not fail. And most times the people who do six figure purchases <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and and most times it's a it's a it's a it's a time bound uh, transaction mm-hmm. i buy things for people online and ship and ship them in so say you to people who buy things on <laughs> <laughs> so say you to to be a pesazake yeah. eh buy them a laptop get it here uh, i can't afford that back and forth you see i need it to work so i've since shifted somewhere else where things just work wow. yeah but talk about uh, uh, but i wish there was some level of predictability in this other ncba pay bill mm-hmm. with how it works with loop so that those of us who are not interested in paying okay, for no, things we don't think we should be paying for yeah yeah can can get around it but that has been my experience with loop so far mm-hmm. yeah i, I think um, i've spoken so much about loop and maybe someone from loop is listening to this podcast i mean this could be a chance for you right? 
come talk to us yeah and yeah. now our transaction journey now our transaction yeah yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a fantastic product i think i've never ever been paid by loop even once yeah. i went to the launch and i've covered loop uh, i don't know anyone many times loop i just know my banking uh, person who emails me no in my younger years i used to i used to handle that account from a tech perspective also mm-hmm. uh, yeah so we used they used to be my partners they were my clients or something but um i've covered loop they never ever sponsored, sponsored any of, any of my work they've never paid mm-hmm. me uh, i just keep giving them money but it's because the product has worked yeah. i went to conquest delgans you know they used to sponsor that yeah. car, mm-hmm. vintage car whatever uh, event. event yeah and after uh, when i was going to that event uh, i got to I, oh i was buying the ticket mm-hmm. and then i realized Before, for me to buy a ticket ilikuwa mia sabo something they were offering a discount to loop card uh, holders since they're sponsoring oh, you were paying like discount, uh, yeah you would pay like uh, 50% oh, 50 yes wow. you, yeah so i i made sure to pay with my loop card but then to pay i need to top it up so i was doing the top of my mps and then i yeah, remembered every other time every other time that was long before the days of bill oh, manager yeah, and all these yeah, conveniences yeah. so i remembered every other time i want to do this i have to go online and refer from the ncba website how to go about it or the photo i took of the of pack the, the card yeah, came with yeah. why do i need to do that i wrote an article about how yeah, someone yeah. can be loading blah. and it's been one of the most well read and it's been several years yeah, yeah <coughs> or, already so that's how we we keep contributing this entire discussion about loop blah, blah. but yes the, my takeaway from this is we need more niche focused banking, banking products yeah, but, mm-hmm. we need them to be more modern because as we are going to discuss we've already talked about the dinosaur call cop bank mm-hmm. the guys were still billing people oh, we haven't mentioned them in this yeah. podcast uh. yeah uli sema ni bank yawaze oh not in this podcast <laughs> that was <laughs> that as was we are prepared yeah. to yeah 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 you see there are those dinosaurs so we need mm-hmm. these I think everyone kind should mention their favorite what they use on a daily which banking platform and app they use on a I'll, I'll I'll start and then we'll go to Nick I'll start my journey is similar to yours Uh, I became an equity customer for the simple reason that I was joining the university and these guys offered to do my help loan application end to end. Mimi ni Mombasa, anniversary tour was kona yonea kwa gazeti. I'd been to Nairobi and I knew it was but that was it. Nikipita hapa tu mimi niki enda West ama nikienda further deep into up country. Uh, that was it. And there was no way there was no way I was coming to and drop my help application and you know you have trust issues with our postal system yeah now una- I, i posted my yeah uh, yeah yeah now and then um uh, yeah. the admissions board messed us up because yeah, when we when you we, we, yeah, when we were going to join the university the minister for higher education who is the current deputy president mm-hmm. made a red road side declaration that people no longer wait for two years to go to the university so the class that had cleared kcp the previous year while us we are outside waiting We're joining with we're you. joining the university that so to separate the mess so that there's no chaos we were required to report earlier than initially anticipated so that those guys can come Can't at our it. no at the reporting date we are supposed to go so that brought the everything forward so you are in a rush na mimi with a newly acquired id uh to get things sorted so the options were pande basi uja anniversary towers mwenye or figure out send someone or something it came through so i opened an account with them that get my help and take mm-hmm. their cut whatever mm-hmm. uh, and me everything was seamless that's how we became a customer and it's it's been a journey of over a decade now and we all good um they do have their lows they do have their highs uh, some of their highs <laughs> <laughs> some of their highs is the thing they also have a very functional app mm. yeah um with a star at the end <laughs> the star is because they've since abandoned that app but we're going to talk about uh, that bit later but as long as easy banking existed mm. it was a very fantastic app they've since replaced it with equity mobile which also a very fantastic app very functional and they've added lots more features the kinds of uh, like loop would send you you request you can request for a receipt on loop to mm. be sent on email right yeah uh, when you're doing a transaction yes, yeah because yes, i always yeah. for my expense tracking i always use that option when i use loop um and where else mpesa these days allows you to download a receipt yes, the new equity mobile app 
has incorporated that. It's a nice to have feature. No. Uh, it looks up um names just before you can send like it has its own hakikisha safaricom style uh, feature uh overall all looks nice and all for me as far as i'm concerned the equity apps have been functional which is a big draw for me then there's the tie in with equitel mm-hmm. i even bought a yeah, number before yeah yeah so that means uh for someone like me who has an equitel sim card it's a very nice fallback plan when you find the app is not working like it usually does a uh, month end on fridays i don't know what usually goes on <laughs> <laughs> do you know I, i only i only discovered the other day that yeah. for the mpesa app you can't download you can't download the receipt if it's 30 years old 30 days old ah no no I me i always oh, for receipts that i usually need mm-hmm. i download them it's there immediate. and then uh ataka itaka to kwa downloads folder because oh. i know oh, i'll uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and 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 uh, other than those now when it goes uh, down those is predictable Fridays or any other time they're having maintenance issues or at times i usually feel like it's overloaded those times you just fire up um the sim toolkit mm-hmm. and, yeah, and you can you can do yeah that. you can <laughs> it's like mpesa you can do this transaction manually visuri uh, just works like i really love that that's that at least that's my high like mm-hmm. it's a very functional app mm-hmm. Yeah so for me actually the first bank you know uh, the first account development was with family bank that was you know just straight you know after 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 you know after high school you know uh, before you join college of course umeza kwaso laso so the first account ever opened with family bank yeah and of course after you know umeanza ku umeanza what how do i put it like umeanza ku eh, kupanda bei kidogo eh <laughs> <laughs> umeanza kupanda bei kidogo so now i switch to stand big bank mm-hmm. i think it's what i've been using since back in 20 around 2017 2018 mm-hmm. and for me i think for the stand big app mm-hmm. i think they can, other than the usual uh, you know of course downtimes that it has usual downtimes the usual down because i think <laughs> you know like uh-huh. it's the same thing i saw with with loop the other day uh-huh. like for like i was trying to pay for my domain renewal for the for the website uh-huh. And the app was down. Was down. I mean, okay, I had to switch card, thinking the card had a problem until I saw a text later. Okay, the service has now been restored. Yeah. So I think the same experience I have with with Standbig. You know, at times you know there's a downtime. Then they have the worst customer service. Let me just say that. <laughs> you know, I even I even saw at, I mean a tweet with someone complaining how they have been you know they they were a victim of 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 uh, card fraud and they're trying to reach out to Standbig. Their calls are going unanswered. No one responding. So I mean the problem with Sunbeck is the app is good. You can do all the things you want. You can cause uh, you know send money to people, you can even request for a loan. You can just be able to locate all the you know Sunbeck branches, check them all. They all is in the app. Everything works fine. But the downtimes are crazy. Crazy crazy. I love the other issues the Android 12 update. You know how most banks were really late. You know you you have you and the 12 update. Uh, we are, we are we're coming we're coming there oh, yeah oh, but basically one. i mean uh with tanbik you know everything works fine the convenience is, is there hey, but the down times guy pakana sema guy is here kama it goes down on your people more times than your people do. <laughs> <laughs> i don't wait <laughs> like you to i have never understood wakati niko nafikiria of a bank account to open in my mind kulikuwa na kcb equity and never thought of stand of course <laughs> You see the thing is people always think like okay some come a stand big at you know, <laughs> trust me as a backlay sequel if you get it imagine the, yeah, yeah they are good banks i think just people were music at really that league but they actually good banks you know the rates are just the same as these other banks you know you it's just the new but it might sound like a bad thing but what the bank that collapsed jina lake ilikuwa ah chess chess, chess bank, bank. Mm-hmm. yes up on the main corner on a stand big so <laughs> Ah uh, pana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stanbeck is associated with that red brick building in town. Yeah. It's one of the oldest buildings in town. And that's yeah. the same uh, it's called in in other country it's called Standard Bank, yeah. You know, Standard Bank acquired Kenyan operations yes. of CC CFC. CFC. Yeah, CFC yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And then all of that became CFC Standbeck and now they're fully branded to Standard Standbeck Bank. Because yeah. even when they send you the statements mm-hmm. uh, Pochini, mm-hmm. the, the logo is Standard Standard mm-hmm. Bank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, of South Africa. Yeah. Um yeah. The law for the equity app are experiences from other people not my own. Mm-hmm. Uh what to account is our fagili what I'm yani ukweli. Like money does mysteriously yeah. disappear from people's and accounts. Yes, yeah. and that's not something I hear. I know people who have experienced that. Unajua ingekuwa tu kitu yenye naonanga Twitter will be like but 
we took a cousin of ours to school akaekewa pesa equity ya account yake mm-hmm. akaenda kwa line ya banking mtu akamuita yeah. akamwambia sijui nini 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 tela akamwambia yes ongea na huyo mm-hmm. na kesho amepoteza pesa yote kwa account so you know I, even if you vinafanya unaogopa a certain I, I, I always feel like equity is not really doing enough to address to address you know, have, this, this. I, yeah, i think we are at a point where a, 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 a bank can only a company can only do much mm-hmm. when most of the fraud is inside mm-hmm. because how will someone ap- approach you while you're queuing on a, in yeah. a queue in the bank and nothing is done about that no but in terms of doing stuff i have seen them push we only reach through to you using this one number yeah. You can only transact using this pay bill. Yeah, actually that. I even did that campaign about the it's called the equity one number campaign where they're just pushing about you know if you receive you know a call from a different number that's not mm-hmm. so they have this specific number they use. But again we've seen cases of even with Safaricom people yes. calling them using the real Safaricom well, number something has happened yeah, they, to like, my aunt I don't do yeah, hmm? what happened. And you can't really explain from 100 ako mm-hmm. UK. Mm-hmm. Na uh, 109,000 she was sending to a hospital bill mm-hmm. went. Na number yake kawa blocked and she's in the UK so there's no way. And Safaricom told us let me read the message on Twitter. Safaricom told us uh, please report to the nearest police station in the UK. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. interesting. Now, um is that uh we've, di- we've described our experiences what not what incentivizes you to use a bank's app start with you dixon nothing per se because <laughs> in my mind banking is online like that's all i know mm-hmm. yes. i think for me just the I, I, i don't think i like i said at the beginning i've never visited a bank to do any transactions mm-hmm. via the counter it's always deposit something it's really deposit. really really be nice No it's not nice that's the <laughs> that's the reality of a lot of Kenyans the really yeah. our kids will never know cash they'll yeah. just know mpesa mobile money banking crypto. yeah yes i crypto no really crypto <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so i think for me it's just you know uh, you know it's, it's the convenience as I, as i remember do you ever use banking plat uh, like go to a bank physical is that what i wanted to say uh-huh. like i can't remember the last time i actually Walked so into a bank. Yo, I have, can't remember the last time I actually walked into a bank at Istanbul. I've, I've bought two cars from my phone without ever needing yeah. to go to a bank. Ever. Yes. So, I don't yeah. eh. Everything I think the last time I only visited Istanbul was you know, when the, when my card was compromised so I was going to have it replaced. The only time I go to It's, a bank is when there's a Western Union mm-hmm. payment and I need to collect it. That's wait, the only time I go to a bank. Wait, why why do you why are you doing that, that in 2022? I guess I, I don't know how to receive Western Union any other way KCB. Yeah, I I know why you receive that Western Union. Yes. Uh, at some point they did send an alert that you that, can link it to your bank account. Yes, yeah. which some of us did and that exactly, was the, that was that. the end of those Western Union visits. Yep. I received my Google AdSense payment straight to my straight bank. To your bank yeah, account. Yeah, it's yeah. right. Mm. I'll try to loop. I hope um You know, we've had this trend courtesy of CBK since the pandemic began where um, a lot of the transactions we do on various mobile banking apps either to the bank or from the bank are free of charge. I expect one of you yeah, to see exactly. that will be the reason yeah, I mean, why exactly. you've And I know it's, I know it's too much work. I know this room is a big bubble. <laughs> I, I know it's too much work, but this even when I want to send someone money, I'd rather spend that with that time uh-huh. send the money from my Mpesa to the bank account the then, then send from the bank <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes 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 i do that mm-hmm. that's the cycle of yes. uh, a lot of people i know and i love loop for that yeah. hashtag love loop anyway <laughs> again <laughs> another this episode is not sponsored by loop <laughs> another <laughs> reason another, another reason i expected mm-hmm. you people to bring up is pesa link integration yeah, because <laughs> because because pesa link can only be accessed from these bank apps. Yes. Yeah, yeah yeah you can't access them either uh, 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 anyway anyway else i thought you'd so bring all bank accounts support pesa link or uh, you have to the bank has to join you or something no no the bank <laughs> should be on that pesa link bandwagon yeah. i remember covering it when it went when it launched, uh, yeah. live uh, a long 
time ago but the, i think 2016 or something the bank needs to be on that bandwagon which actually and most of them are oh yeah exactly. most almost do you all. need to sign up as a customer or it's automatic i think it's you don't need to sign no 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 up. I, I, if your bank is there uh, there's an opt-in mechanism you need to opt in you from the app uh, you, you click your personal yeah. link thing you will opt in and it's almost like a one click thing or something yeah. you know i set up mine at the very start and so, uh, i've been using ever since i, I, lo- I joined loop and personal link is always there but i've never Never tried uh, it. and also for lots of banks they haven't even branded that it's pesa link or... yeah it in mm-hmm. ndanga to like a normal eft or and on ajua the mechanism behind the scenes now that's something i don't know you see, like, what is eft rtgs and uh-huh, pesa link uh-huh, uh-huh. now eft is what electronic funds transfer and rtgs real time gross something something i just know mm-hmm. they're just uh, standards or platforms yeah. for sending money um yeah and eft is what uh, we do if i send money from my account to your account and we are both on the same bank mm-hmm. that's an electronic funds transfer yeah apa apa to up online whatever, whatever but if you are there stuck on your kcb and i'm on stuck on my equity and i'm to send you uh, lots of money uh, at least not more than a million shillings uh, it, be it becomes our tgs or, if, or better link um it can be pesa link too but yeah if you just received funds from a different country mm-hmm. and it was at TGS, yes, TGS, yes, yes, TGS, yes 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 still the same yeah yeah it's what real time gross settlement Mm. It's really like even like you know uh the way for example on my end i really at times handle a lot of influencers when i'm doing the payments mm-hmm. i actually do them via pesa link all in yes, terms of this thing you know who to reach out to so like i didn't buy a person yeah, yeah. currency <laughs> like that's a pay influencers yeah, influencers ke yeah. please don't spam our podcast just spam his blog because <laughs> because stand big actually stand big uh you know in fact it's nice in a place you talk about app stand big app really nice for you to check in because you can send to their phone send to their account actually like i was just checking their accounts right now and you're yeah, getting paid <laughs> uh and the like basically all the, all the banks are there from Absa to Access Bank to even banks like Africa Banking Corporation wait we have a, we have a bank called Africa Banking Corporation huh. ABC apparently okay. yeah, Victoria the, Commercial uh, Bank wow there is there is a difference between EFT and RTGS and is not as simple as I was making out to be mm-hmm. uh, a quick google search brings up an article by Kina I don't know Clinton Madego Dignited, an Why? article from Dignited, and they've defined what EFT is, what RF, uh, what RTGS is. Now, um, apparently, EFT takes a number of days to effect, yeah. and RTGS uh, is instant, instant. But after some cut off, you know, it will show up the next day. Senior. Like if you send later than 2 p.m., you have to yeah, say cash or otherwise near. Yeah. Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I, th- yeah. I think I think, I think uh, that should do. However, here is a chance. If you're listening to this podcast, this is what our finance, this is what our tech. Yes. And you you have more input on this, drop those comments on Twitter but, or but, wherever but, um, uh, you can access us. I, actually, I have a client who always does payments, uh, you know, to me through you know these two platform. And I think whenever he delays payments, he always sends them through your your instant link. RTGS. Yeah. So I can, I can, when he's trying to approach like he's being nice I'm like, okay he sent through them to train up it's instant. Mm-hmm. But if he's if he sent them through the other you know the other way mm-hmm. I have to wait like for two days. I think we can even cover the But yeah it, yeah it's still uh-huh. EFT is what happened. Oh, well, well, well. Yeah. We can I cover the it. transaction costs because different banks charge differently. Different, yeah. Yeah. All banks in Kenya currently to mobile money it's free. All is no, it i wouldn't say all uh-huh. there have been lots of instances where like our uh, your favorite loop <laughs> directly <laughs> the, the the option they've given people charges people money now not, uh, now make not a ta- mobile to bank mm. i'm saying bank to mobile bank it's to mobile free. should be free as far as i'm concerned yeah, yeah should i uh, should be I, want, i don't want to be so certain kuna banks nyingi inch middle east bank Uh, the yeah, yeah yeah okay or yeah, the well, rich uh, people who bank with zurich whatever that thing I or what was it i thought you stay is you say it's done <laughs> <laughs> no do all we agree that one is for all the people <laughs> 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 
Eh? Do all banks have transaction charges between bank to bank? For example, you have a KCB and yeah, a KCB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do. those are there. Yeah, no, oh, you, ca- you yeah. can't actually them. there are charges on pretty much everything in the banking industry. Okay. They they really do love their money. They only free <laughs> them pay yeah. transactions in yeah, And also any 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 relief they're enjoying is because of COVID, but there's no bank related things yes. out there that doesn't cost money. What okay, is the charge for RTGS? No, I guess usually there's an, there's usually a charge. There's a charge. There's yes, a, there's, there's a charge. In 66 bob. There's usually EFT a charge. Is 66 bob. That's a link is 48 bob. And mobile transactions are free. There, there is a charge. Equity I think is 112. I get 112 uh almost like a flat uh for many yes, many amounts. There's a bank account that charges people to view their balance. Yes, yes. my bank charges 12 bob. God, I think it should be. We, we've come from afar. I think And I've, you still uh, bank with the <laughs> I think I've spoken What is money? <laughs> I've shared on this podcast that we used to be built to view Mpesa balance. Yeah. We used to. Yeah. Uh, If you don't remember that you're too young. That But was yeah. one bob or two yeah, one, one bob. bob. Yes. 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 Yep. Okay. They okay. didn't have an Mpesa so, account though. Depending on your bank, your transaction charges for <laughs> depending on your bank your trans- unasema ati i didn't have an mpesa account yeah. depending on your bank your transaction charges for rtgs eft pesa link will be different i think pesa link it's standard but rtgs and eft will be different mm-hmm. so you need to know which bank account will be more affordable now we've uh, spent quite a bit of time on that pesa link thing um, the other fact i expected you guys to bring up as to be a reason why you are stuck on those apps would be Uh, I'm trying to raise factors that will affect other, the people who are listening to this. Mm. Say availability. Say we are just from reviewing the Huawei Nova 9. Yeah. Yes. Say it's your main phone right now. You know that <laughs> limits. <laughs> yes. That <laughs> limits the kind of apps you can oh, access. Yes. From, anyway. Because they, they don't have the Play Store. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You are stuck mm. with App Gallery and the third party app stores like Epic Pure and Zamaju yeah, that you don't access to. Local they apps. don't have local apps. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So depending on the device you're using, yeah, you yeah. will ne- not be able to access. Mm. If you're on the Android side of things, you need to evaluate uh, the kind of variation of Android that's available to you and not able to use. Uh, and if you, even if you're stuck on Google's version of Android, mm. now I'm getting to this point we've been avoiding for a while, uh, you're also limited to the what, version. The version yes. that because normally banks will release a new update and restrict every user to using mm. the new update because they are fixing so many holes and yeah. all of those things. But also that means uh, at times you could be off your phone version either is low mm-hmm. or okay. you have a higher Android version than what's available for the, for the app. majority. Yeah, like yes. that happened with me, happened to me when my Reno 65 g upgraded from 12. Android 11 to 12. Android 12. My other phones had already gotten the update, but this is the one phone I had held on to as a daily uh, driver and primary reason being I cannot access my bank and easy banking if it is mobile banking app just stopped working like that. Mm-hmm. Now, good thing the ads introduced equity mobile so I just switched to equity mobile and which just supported. works. But that should be a dilemma that faces lots of Kenyans yes, on yeah. various apps. I know as, like you know for, for me I think I had to spend like almost three months without you know with my Android 12 device Wait, like, wait yeah wait is to make sure that they update. charge you 12 bob to view your balance so i used to you know yeah. they have bad customers so they wait more than three <laughs> months to get this so i used to, um but they could, like for this let me go back to oh, the Huawei you're still Gallery. using the Reno 65G nice yes 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 so let me go back to the Huawei app gallery uh you did a very interesting article about uh, some app apps app, uh, you know why we adding even local banking apps mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah you know, app gallery. so like i think and easy banking should be have been yes, one of them so right? yeah so there's easy banking in fact i'm just reading your article so they stand big amsa uh, standard chartered then mcop that's uh, that's for copa huh? then equity yeah, better off without that app <laughs> and, <laughs> and ncd loop yeah <laughs> so at least for uh, i mean if you're using a Huawei device you we had a meeting with Huawei and they were saying for all the local apps that have uh what what is it called management in Kenya mm-hmm. they managed to yeah, get managed on, board. on board yeah yes. uh, so that's, anything that's, that has management in the US is what has been a problem mm. yes. and you know the other, the other day we were when we were at Samsung There's this guy from Samsung the tall guy I can't remember his name he was telling you see that at times mm. you know Samsung will release an Android 12 device then the trainer uh, no the no, no the, 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 uh, the, uh, the side the, tech, the technical side. guy oh, yeah okay. 
So you saying how customers will call like oh natumia simu yangu ya Samsung but I pick you know my bank mm-hmm. up. So like you know it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Mm-hmm. You see it's the bank's problem, yeah? Mm-hmm. Cuz you see maybe the okay. bank the bank hired a, a, a de- yeah his name is Ken, yeah. Maybe the bank hired a dev akatengeneza app na atamlipa pesa enough eh. <laughs> so they can calling back okay kuna Android 12 you need an update to this app. One of the stories yes. banks should stay up. <laughs> For now, um if you are not mm-hmm stuck in the bubble that the people in this room are stuck in you are out there chances are you are pushed to try out banking apps because yeah. of covid we can't discount the impact that the but pandemic yes, has had yeah. on increasing the number of users who are using these apps and we want to hear what your experiences are get on social media wherever you get to see this posted and let us know now in terms of numbers which one of these apps is like how are they doing on the uh, internet yeah rate. what's what's yeah. like the what's the from uptake reason it's under, been a while since i yeah, wrote about so financial different. services apps yeah. in this country but a uh, lot of platforms do keep tabs on the numbers yeah. and if you're on the any of these app stores you should be able to get some of these numbers from a quick search on google play store for android downloads kcb and equity are the most downloaded banking apps kcb app has 1 million plus downloads is the banking which is being retired has 1 million plus downloads uh there is tanchat with 500,000 plus downloads uh, and cbl loop with 500,000 can any can under get to family bank with 500,000 they reach few yeah uh, tanchat five i mentioned tanchat yeah. then there is absa with 100,000 standbeck with 100,000 equity mobile with 100,000 that black ship and national Cash. bank 100,000 yeah. uh, operative weird. bank see they weird uh, a very <laughs> weird name <laughs> coop cash 5.0 has that okay that's a very really long name for an arm okay they let the developers do <laughs> the marketing <laughs> yes so uh iphone does not offer download uh, stats but i have managed to see that kcb is the top 5 in the top 5 business apps in the country mm. ncba is the, the top 15 business apps standbeck is number 26 in the finance charts i haven't seen other banking apps uh, but yeah for the so purposes right, of yeah. our discussion let's assume they don't exist then. <laughs> 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 no yeah, uh, you know i've seen that list and uh, something came to me standchart mm. as 500 uh, thousand, uh, yeah. downloads on the Play store. store so uh is now st- i stand chat has that same experience as the kcb we are talking about from and also they don't have the nonsense of tying you to a branch yeah. like my branch on stand chat is a digital branch so i'm not beholden to any, to f- any physical building. branch yes yes yeah no 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 one can tell me God if you went to your branch God we will charge you 25 for this one <laughs> uh here's the thing you download the se mobile app uh, on the play store um become a standard customer right there and then from the app you don't need to do anything else in terms of verifying that you are a real person and not a dog you on the internet you. uh and you yeah. live at a real place not some tent on the internet they'll send a gfs guy oh, to your place yeah. who will deliver your card in person and verify and they'll take your signature and everything you don't need to move an inch i found that onboarding it's been a few years already and i found that onboarding experience very nice they have a very functional app keyword functional the design is yeah. a nightmare it's one of the worst mm-hmm. design apps <laughs> out there <laughs> like the customer journey is so horrific i mean if you guys are listening i've shared this feedback on twitter and i'm not the only one you need to style up it like that no... so well i was always saying i'm, <laughs> and I'm moving just to no, there are no easy ways of saying it do you know you want to send money to yourself just yourself you go through more hoops than trying to find a, a, a certification for your business from NMS and the government <laughs> like it's so much work. i wanted to say recently they launched standard uh chartered shilling yeah, shilling. yeah. Oh, it's, a, market, it's a kind of uh, uh, investment fund. fund yeah, yeah. And and it's a like, nice thing you're saying it's a good bank maybe i'll go because i'll try that there. yeah you can the only thing is yeah every other time you need to take 102 steps to get to the shilling <laughs> fund like uh, you know, uh, like uh, uh, my thinking is that customer journey wasn't thought specific for the Kenyan market either they duplicated cost standard charters yeah. global blah, blah and they duplicated something from another market uh, customized for the Kenyan news i don't know what the thought the process thought was process like the implementation is so bad you know when you log into the new equity mobile app 
everything you need is front yeah. and center. Same with Fambic. First Fambic. tap, you're already where you want. Same with But I mean, if you want, you want to join a money market fund, you can join. No, happen. let me not mention. Yeah, there are yeah. yeah, there are options. You, you the, we, we use the same money market fund, the one you recommended. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. But yes. we, which even, you can use a pesa from WhatsApp. Yeah. Talking about WhatsApp, there's someone who was doing WhatsApp banking. Who was it? Remember, you guys wrote the KCB story. KCB has done that. Yeah, uh, well, KCB there should be two players. Uh-huh. What's a bank? QZP and a new ah, launch. Equity Equity. launched their own uh, their chat, launched chat launched chat chat okay. I don't know who you're asking about specifically, so you can tell us. Uh, and there's an app I expected you people to talk about it because you ran campaigns about it. Housing finance got into the, all this. Uh, yeah, became a deposit taking thing. Yeah. HF is... Apparently, it's a good app. The people who use HFWs have very good feedback. Okay, that's when they're not trying to sell you a keyboard. Remember, they did a keyboard? <laughs> the keyboard Ooh, was the equity. equity, equity yeah. No, 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 no. M key. No, uh, uh, HFWs didn't try a keyboard. No, it was they equity didn't. who tried a keyboard that is ever. No, I remember no, the equity no, keyboard, yeah, but I don't HF think, HF think had one. Yeah. HF had one. They had the HF had a keyboard I am before a, the keyboard. Let me just, let me just uh, take, mm. I must have wrote about them because... What I wrote about HF is because I talked about They did them. run a big campaign with the uh, online publishers at I the time they were launching. Them, but I remember wondering why HF is sounded like a wallet. It sounded like a new wallet. It didn't sound like it Sounds like a nice cartoon. You remember Billy Wiz? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, I remember it's it was Finsav who launched yeah. MK mm-hmm. keyboard. I think mm-hmm. it's still running or mm-hmm. it died, I don't remember. Whatever that was. From the keyboard, you could do everything. A very, okay, let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I was going to ask you, like I asked this one, if you drove the keyboard here. Anyway. <laughs> MKey yeah. is a FinServ. Uh, by FinServ is a mobile money wallet built into a keyboard app. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was what I remember. And I remember I asked why and... I never got an answer. They said you could do everything from your keyboard and never got anything past that. Ah, uh, actually the, H- the HFC one, it used to be called the HF Wiz app as well. Mm-hmm. Did they have a keyboard? I can't find anything about a keyboard, so I don't know where I picked that up. I but uh, uh, HF, yeah, uh, HF Wiz apparently is mm, some nice app. Uh, you know, uh, why I'm bringing it up is we've talked at length about Loop because we're involved uh, we got invited to the launch, blah, blah, blah. we and tried it out, the, uh-huh. uh, we've been using it. Same thing happened with the chef, with a bunch of other people in the same space as us, did get uh, the heads up on it in advance, got involved in campaigns, and there are act- actually people who say about it, I've heard good things about it. Yeah, uh, I think we've exhausted that bit. Now here's the other bit, if you're not using an app, so I know we're discussing banking apps, but do you guys have fallback plans if the app is not working? I described my fallback plan with Equital. What are your fallback plans? What to, uh, stand in, in if the bank is not because, working. Yeah, for some reason, if the app is not working. Let me yeah, and me. the way there are downtimes sometimes on mm-hmm. uh, loop, mm-hmm. I will use m Me too, because let me tell you, the, no, the, you, USSD, the banking platform, no, USSD one? Uh, no, no, not with I don't banking. think loop has a USSD plat of, of Oh, yeah. Yeah. Start because one that is so. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The right talk to you. You know, like when when uh, when um when they had the and the twelve issue with them, huh? So mm-hmm. now you can use the. It's, it's, I can't remember even the code. Mm-hmm. But you do a transaction. If you cut it, cut mm-hmm. So you have to start afresh. No, that, that's that's, that's the modern day equivalent of your card being declined, even though it has yes. money. Right? Mm-hmm. I remember some someone trying to to pay me and they're trying to use because the app had failed. Mm. Like it, take, it took two days for the transaction to go through. Two days. That's interesting. That's now, um, another pet peeve of mine. Um, they usually send codes um, for the, yeah, validation the validation of the codes, transactions. Yeah. One-time OGP, pins. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, has anyone been in a situation like mine where... Loop the, had had an issue. Yeah, the code, the code, the, the code arrives right. after yeah. two business days. Well, the code never arrived, but now they're doing it in app. Yeah. Yes. So the code is sent by the app. And Stan Stan Chat has something they call the pass key, which is you set oh, yeah. a, a unique key so that every time you don't have to rely on that. You just key in your unique key and you're good to go. Which I find to be 
a very decent I implementation. I, I have a friend who has a bank with GT Bank. We haven't even. Oh yeah, GT, GT Bank. Bank. I know GT yeah. Bank. And they're given a key, a physical key, for to authenticate all transactions. So you press the key, and then it gives you a code. So the OTP is on your key. Mm-hmm. A digital, it has a digital display showing some random numbers. So it's like a Google Authenticator, but physical. Do you know and I love that about them but I don't know any more about GT Bank apart from that. You know one of the reasons I even stopped uh, another reason I stopped using Loop is because mm-hmm. of the OTP OTPs like for me the they used to come did not they are, uh, yes. they are not working until now it still doesn't work for me. Okay. Yes, your yes, account has yes. issues or your account has issues. Come on, OTP it works for me. Oh, oh, the pay. account has no money. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> uh, I think we've had a, a lengthy discussion on our experiences using banking apps. Uh, what's left is to hear what your experience has been. Uh, For the yeah, yeah, yeah. If if this gets shared to you by Nick on Tech Trends Facebook page or Dixon on Tech Issues Twitter or on my feed, mm-hmm. wherever you see it, you can interact with us there. Uh, we can pick this discussion, take it further. I know we've had so many disjointed discussions online mm-hmm. on banking apps. Every time someone is coming to vent, someone is coming to praise a, fe- uh, yeah. a specific feature, we thought to bring all those ramblings under one roof and have this discussion because for most of us this is our new reality now yeah. this is how we live life and we can only talk so much because yeah. we only we can only talk of the apps we interact with yeah so yeah, it's yeah. we have we are limited to these little experiences of ourselves we want to open that up to you so share feedback let's hear what you have to say about your bank i think good there i think so bad you need to jump ship are you being served by a boomer bank whatever <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should leave his <laughs> Yeah, so I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope that really change because well, anyway, we we'll discussion for another. Um day. on the other hand, the other people who are trying to take up the space of these banks, so they need to watch out. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people are about to attend uh, a launch around the same time. We'll discuss that in a future When episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I've been your host Emmanuel Chenze. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the 51st episode and thank you for the 50 episodes that we've had. My uh accomplices uh accomplices yes Dixon and Tiana take issue you're stealing call. people's attention <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I'm Nixon Kanali from Techno again 50th episode really glad for our partners who have stood us through the journey and our listeners yes, yes. our partners the sponsors we've worked with before and of course we are keep looking for other sponsors to come on board you know for more uh, upcoming episodes yeah so my name is Nixon Kanali from Tech Trends And most importantly you who's been listening to this subscribing sharing it all over please keep doing that thank you see you next time bye